Hello, my name is Jack from Two Dead Frog, and I want to show you how to use this new template to create SE art that I call 2DF Mosaic Gene as art. When you unzip the folder, the first thing that you see will be this folder right here, and then we have the tutorial that you are watching right now and a readme file that will help you through the options that we have but i will show you in this video every little step that we have right here inside the project folder we have two resolutions so you have full hd and 4k resolution uh, and inside every folder we have three different uh, different proportions so the first one is square this one is vertical and this one is horizontal let me open this one to show you how to use the project so here we are basically we have three different compositions right here and uh, the first one you will use to customize the characters size font and colors that you want to use to create your art so when you open it you will see a text box so whatever you type here will be used to create your art and you need to use up to 32 characters in this side you will see how many characters you already typed so it uh, will show to you how much characters you still have to write and in this other side you have a sample so if you want to see how the gradient is uh, that you are creating if the character is, is looking like you can see in the sample so whatever you type here will be used to create the images so you can change the color of the characters so it will impact the gradient that you have you can change the size of the font and for all that you will use the controls that you have in after effects so you can make different characters with different size and colors or even with different fonts for example this one I like for this type of art so as you can see in the sample it will show you how it will look like when you apply to the image all you have to have in mind is that it's good to have characters that make a cool gradient because if you don't do that the art will not look so good so in the pdf file i give some suggestions of gradient that you can use to create your image for example this one so just copy and paste and what i like to do is use color palettes to choose the colors to give a better look to your gradient so you can get some uh, different colors palette in the adobe web website and use it to choose the colors to your character like this let me show you so you will have a better looking ac art okay now the second composition is where you drop your art so this layer is here just as an example so if you go to the last composition uh, you can see what we already have so usually it takes some seconds to update when you customize something here
or sometimes you need to purge your this cache okay now it's okay but if you have the problem that i had right now that the after effect don't doesn't update manually you can just come here and purge all the memory and this cache like this okay so now what we are seeing here is the gradient that I created here so what you can do is in this composition drop your content I will take a uh, image right here this little guy in loop I will delete the logo file that was here just for an example and now as you can see we have this gradient uh, created with characters if you change the font here you have a different art there something that is very interesting to do is just wait a little to update but when you change the there is when you change the the contrast of this image or change it for a grayscale or something like that you can have some control about what your final look will look like so we can come here and apply a levels make more contrasting image something like this and then the final result will look different you will have better contrast in the image okay now I want to show you the options that we have in the template to be able to customize little details that can make a huge difference in your SC animation when you select this layer you will be able to see in the effect control if it's closed you just come here in window and open the effect control panel right here and now you have all the options that you have to customize your the look of your as animation as art the first one is block size so if you want to change the size of the blocks of the characters just put another veil here so it can give you a more detailed art so you can you be you will be able to better understand the art and it can take uh, it can take a while to generate little blocks but it will give more definition to your image or you can make bigger blocks like this so if your image is too detailed you can have a very abstract result like this okay smoothness is basically a blur effect applied to the source but can give you a cool effect if you want something more smooth uh, something smoother okay reverse s you can come here and invert all the characters if you want a different uh, gradient a different degree but i made this option to make it easier so if you want this little guy to be filling the these areas you just invert the s code then it will invert the way that they use the the dark colors and the lighter colors to interpret the image so now everything that is black uh, is filled with this character when the reverse is not applied it's filled with the uh, the empty space that it put it at the end of this sequence so that's why we don't have any image in the background for ex example if I put a dot here you will see that the background will be filled 
with the dot. Let me show you a not cached frame like this. Okay. Another option that we have is color from source. This one is a very interesting one because sometimes you don't want to choose the color, you just want to get the colors from the source file, the original file that you used. So you select this option and now your code is based on the color of the source like this. Okay, now about background, you can choose the color. that you want if you want to create some compositions you can choose the opacity like this so if you want alpha channel it will be able to use if you don't want the source to look like a mosaic you can change and if don't you don't want to see the the source at all you can just enable the alpha channel now all you have is the art and you also have option to enable a grid that can be very interesting so it comes with opacity zero from the scratch but you can change this value and the color and the size of the stroke you can even uh, control if you want the grid below or above the codes sometimes it can be very interesting so that's what we have there are a lot of different options to create with this template it can be very fun to create some AC art and uh, it's very fast and easy. Of course, you can use the 4K versions to create large still image of AC art that can be very interesting as well. I hope you like this template. Feel free to contact me if you have any doubt. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Jack and I appreciate very much for your attention. Bye bye.